Okay, then this is my third in a series of um, Boolean logic videos. The if you haven't watched them previously and you're not familiar with Boolean logic or logic gates, I recommend you do because um, otherwise you might get lost. So we've done some Boolean logic already. We've done logic gates. We can also write them as algebraic terms. Okay, we can write them kind of mathsy terms. So an AND gate between A and B. We can write like this: A and B. Okay, and if you're a mathematician, which which a lot of computer scientists are, although not all of them, if you are, um, you'll recognise this in maths, in algebra, would be a multiplication. Okay, um, so you could also write it as A B if you wanted, but the dot is quite helpful. An OR gate, we would write as A or B, and again that looks like an addition, and that's how we treat it algebraically. Okay, so an AND and an OR. There's also an exclusive OR, but I don't think for AS level that you need to know so much about that, so I'm going to leave that out of it. It does exist, it is out there, it's worth looking at, particularly at A2, I would imagine. Uh, but at AS, certainly the AQA AS that I'm doing at the minute, um, I don't think the exclusive OR is necessary in terms of um, Boolean algebra. So we'll leave that for now. Okay, so we've got these two things here, A and B and A or B. And what we can do is we can, um, oh sorry, the third thing, silly me, A and B, A or B, third thing is not A. Okay, we put a bar over for not. And what we can do is we can start to manipulate these. So if I'm telling you that the, the my logic gate setup that I want is A and B or A and not B, okay, there are two ways of solving this. The first one is to look at it and think, well, if it's A and B or it's A and not B, the B's can't be relevant. Whether B's true or not, we're just looking at A. So the solution, incidentally, is just A. And we can do that kind of by inspection, by thinking about it and looking at it and using our brains a bit. You can also do it mathematically. Now, if I was to give you a math problem like this, you would probably see that A is a common factor. So we can factorise, which is A and B or not B. Yeah? Dead easy. And B or not B is always true. It's either B is either true, it's either B or it's not B. If the question is, is it B or not B, the answer is yes. You know, if I say, have you are you male or female, the answer is yes, you are either male or female. Yeah? And so we can rewrite this as A1. Yeah? A times one. A times one is just A, because anything times one is just itself. So the answer is A. Now, if you're talking about exam revision here, then make sure you do do all the steps, you do the working out. The working out is important because you'll get the marks for that. Um, but that's it. That's Boolean logic. Boolean um, algebra, sorry. Okay, so you can just treat them mathematically. It gets a bit harder when you get things like, um, and I'm making this up as I go along, okay, things like this. So it's not B. So A and not B, and it's all knotted. So you could say A... Turn that back to front. A and not B all inverted. Okay? And the way you would solve that is to use something called De Morgan's Law. Now, the way I remember De Morgan's Law, this is probably the wrong way to teach you, but it's tough. The way I remember De Morgan's Law is if you've got a bar over both things, then you break it and you change the sign. Equally, if you've got a bar over both things, break it, you change the sign. Yep. So A and B all not is equal to A or B knotted individually. So you break the bar, you change the sign. Simple as that. That's it. Okay, both ways around it works whether you've got an and or an or, whether you've got a bar of both or a bar of a single. If you you know the same thing applies, obviously, if you have separate bars, you can join them up so long as you change the sign. It works both ways, and it's as simple as that. So what we'll do is I've got this Boolean expression here, and it's a bit complicated, so what I want to do is I want to separate it out. So I'm going to say that's the same as, I'll split them up, and I'll put, a, instead of having one bar over both of them, like that, I'll split them up so you've got two. So I've changed the sign, and I've split the bar up. Okay? And what we've got now is not A, or not not B. Double negative cancels itself out. I won't rub it out. So that's the same as not A or B. Yeah? 
which is the same as saying not A or B. And if I did the truth tables, I haven't really got time now to do the truth tables, but you, you check it yourself. Okay, remember the first diagram, the A and not B, all knotted, is A and not B, so then anded, and then they're not, and they're inverted. Okay, so this was the first expression up here. This is the second expression down here. I reckon the truth tables for those will be identical, because mathematically, I've used De Morgan's laws, which is where you split this and change the sign, or you join it and change the sign. And I reckon those two things will be absolutely equal in terms of their truth table. The beauty, of course, is this algebraically looks complex, this looks a lot easier. This, in terms of logic gates, has actually got four separate components to it. This one here has got three. Yep, if we count the not separate, let's have got two. Yep, if we count this as an and and a not. Sorry, is it an and and a not? Was it not? No, that's, uh, I've got confused. So this is the first one here. Sorry, the first one here, we've got a not, we've got an and, and we've got another not. So we've got three logic gates. Here we've got a not, and we've got an or. So we've got two logic gates. So we've got a simpler circuit. We've got a simpler mathematical expression. Okay. Whereas here, we've got a more complex mathematical expression and a more complex circuit. But I think if you do the trace tables, they'll be identical. And again, there are loads of questions. I haven't planned, I never planned these videos, um, so I haven't got any really good examples to show you. But again, past papers, look on the internet, there are loads of examples of things where you've got... Um, I don't know, and then we'll do something like that. No, I'll put an A there again. Okay, so what we can do is, um, I don't know, we can multiply that out. So we've got A and not A, or A and not B. Doesn't really help with De Morgan's laws, actually, because A and not A, that's always going to be false. You can't be A and not A at the same time. So that's 0 plus A and not B, which just becomes A and not B. So it's just a case of coming up with expressions, finding some expressions to practice with, and making sure you're comfortable. The trickiest thing is to try and use De Morgan's laws and De Morgan's laws. It's actually dead easy. If they're separate, you join them up and change the sign. If they're joined up, you split them up and change the sign. If you can do that, you can do everything you need, certainly for AS computing in terms of binary al uh, Boolean algebra.